Hello and welcome to another Doctor's Assistant 1 video. Um, today I'm doing a DVD collection update video. Who knew that uh, January 2021 would be the month uh, slash year of me just doing collection update videos? But anyway, I mean I kind of really like them, uh, doing them. And I don't know why but I always find it fun watching other people's... Uh, whether it's like video game ones or pff, uh, Doctor Who DVD collection update videos or Big Finish audio ones or even just DVD things and that sometimes I guess. Uh, so hopefully yeah people are interested in this and also if you've ever been curious about what other uh, TV shows slash films I like uh, then this will be a good insight to that. Uh, and then also a bit of a disclaimer this isn't everything that I like have uh, that I have in my quote unquote collection if you will uh, as it were uh, because these are just the DVDs and films that I have in my bedroom uh, between myself my mum and my brother we have a shit ton of like physical media of like DVDs and, and videos and, uh, and and whatnot you know uh, I mean just my brother alone I mean I guess he has like season 1 through to 12 I think of Simpsons and then downstairs I also have the like uh, Simpsons movie, and then, uh, series one through eight, I think, of Futurama, uh, which is, like, all 124 episodes of it. It's, like, the full, complete box set thing. Uh, I mean, I got it in HMV in Leeds because it was reduced from, like, 50 quid to, like, 25, and I was like, man, that's a bargain, and I adore and find Futurama hilarious, so, yeah. Um, starting off, we've got the Channel 4 show, The IT Crowd, um, pretty funny, hilarious show, uh, and that, it's on Netflix, uh, yeah. Um, Torchwood, Series 1, 2, Children of Earth, and Miracle Day, which I guess Miracle Day is the one we don't really talk about. Likewise with maybe Series 1, uh, tonally, I feel like that series is probably a bit... Hit, hit and miss and all over the place in terms of series one at least I guess series two and then like Children of Earth are probably the strongest uh, series of Torchwood I suppose uh, which is kind of fucked up because they're probably also the darkest also if you ever want a more in-depth review or um, yeah vi vi video slash in-depth reviews thoughts on these video on these uh, certain films or TV shows Please do comment below uh, if you'd like to see anything in particular from this channel. If I haven't already done it, that is. Um, and if I have, then please do try and find those videos in uh, or on, on the channel, if that's alright. Uh, Alien uh, Quadrilogy, uh, so the four Alien films. I mean, I guess there are more than a four now. Um, Firefly, the complete first series, because... You know, unfortunately, there's only one. Um, Back to the Future, the 30th anniversary trilogy, which is just awesome. I have that. I have that on Blu-ray, but it does mean that there's just this weird, like, square gap <laughs> there. Um, Robocop trilogy. Um, I, I love the first Robocop. I really can't remember much about the, the other two. Um, and what was the other thing I was going to say? Oh, there was a really cool steel book of Robocop once in HMV, which I was really tempted to buy. Um, Star Wars Last Jedi, because I, um, I, I dread the idea of paying 15 quid for Rise of Skywalker, so I still haven't got that in the collection. And I also, spoiler alert, and I know most people are going to get triggered and probably unsubscribe from the channel, but I actually like Last Jedi, uh, so yeah. Hashtag fake fan of Star Wars, clearly. Uh, Force Awakens, again, I also quite like that. Again, fake fan, I know. Um... And then the original trilogy, all in one like thing, and that. And I say original trilogy, but it's like the newer ones, I guess, because there are bits that are like CG'd, because George just never knew how to stop trying to do stuff with them. Uh, so four, five, and six. Obviously, I like Empire Strikes Back the most. There. Uh, then you've got Rogue One, a Star Wars story, because that because that's in the timeline. That's before. Uh, episode 4, Star Wars Rebels, the complete season 1, uh, because again, that's sort of set after Revenge of the Sith, but before A New Hope. Then you've got, um, uh, then you've got, uh, 
uh, the prequels of so, uh, Episode 1, Phantom Menace, Episode 2, Attack of the Clones, and then Episode 3, Revenge of the Sith. Uh, Revenge of the Sith is probably the strongest one there, in my opinion. Uh, then you've got Star Wars The Clone Wars The Movie, which technically I should have probably put uh, like next to Star Wars Rebels and then moved that where that is, swap those around, because that's actually... Clone Wars starts between Attack of the Clones and Revenge of the Sith, but because I don't have them all individually, I, I, the tri that trilogy, it's a little bit more difficult to put them in chronological order. Anyway, Spaceballs, funny as parody about Star Wars. Two other parody Star Wars things, Robot Chicken Star Wars, Robot Chicken Star Wars, Episode 2, uh, and then... Spider-Man, the Sam Raimi ones, I think. Uh, Spider-Man uh, 1 and 2, because fuck 3. Uh, even though I did actually go see that with my with my dad and my brother, which is fucked up uh, when we were much younger. Hunt for the Wilder People, a fantastic, funny, hilarious film uh, directed by Taika Waititi, who did Thor Ragnarok. Uh, it's kind of a funny story. I watched that on Netflix. It's a really good, funny, sort of, kind of you know, sort of deep dive into mental health and that, um, and I think especially with everything that's going on in the world, I think it's a must watch for anyone who's really struggling and that, because it's funny, but it's, oh, it's, it's a deep dive into mental health, but it's kind of got little bits of funny parts to it, and, uh, and yeah, it's, it's got the main guy who played, um, uh, Sam Gardner out in, a uh, Atypical... Um, the Legend of, uh, or the Avatar, The Last Airbender, book one, water, I guess, uh, book two, earth, and book three, fire. I really do want to get rid of these, because they're, like, really damaged and, and, and grimy and slimy and that, and there is a big box set -y thing at, again, HMV, uh, that I saw once, uh, of this, uh, trilogy of, of, oh, this little three-act book structure thing um but yeah like i know i remember once mentioning these in in a video years and years ago and someone commented being like whoa where did you get those they're kind of like rare and stuff and that which is cool but yeah like they're not well kept unfortunately uh and some of the discs might not even work but then more recently like not the christmas just gone but the christmas before i think uh i got um what did i get i got if I can even, yeah, this is going to be fun, uh, yeah, there, uh, got the Complete Legend of Korra, um, series, um, I'm not sure if Avatar The Last Airbender is still on Netflix, but Legend of Korra is on there now, uh, here in the UK, and, yeah, I've, I've seen book one and two, or watched book one and two, and I really enjoyed those, um, books, but I never got round to re uh, watching book uh, three and four, which were change and balance, uh, and that. But yeah, I know most people don't really like uh, Korra as anywhere near as much as uh, the uh, Ang and that, and or the Avatar: Last Airbender even. Uh, but yeah, I, I I don't mind it actually. I, I like the first two, as I say. Um, I can't really comment on the uh, second half of the series, but yeah, um, Community Season 1 through 6, uh, yeah, that's also back on Netflix, fortunately, uh, where it deserves to be, because holy shit, this is an amazing, up there, like, uh, the American sitcom, I think it's like, part of that last sort of hurrah to original sort of network TV, American network TV, that, that golden age of like The Office, 30 Rock, Parks and Rec and Community uh, were there. Those four like were the last stint of that sort of era which is for lack of a better term now a, a bygone era really because of streaming services um, and that uh, which is weird because again I think because of the the sort of the boot was closer to the neck of the network slash people lower down, you know, the the executives and, and that were being the boot on the neck of the creative slash writers and directors and, and the therefore actors and comics and comedians and, and, and uh, talent uh, all round. That meant that, as I say, those four shows were all 
blasted out, I think, towards the latter end of, of sort of, as I say, that sort of uh, basic cable, sort of American cable, sort of Saturday night, or, sat or sort of like weekend, week, uh, end of week sort of comedies, I guess, um, uh, slash sitcoms, I guess, whereas now you just don't get that, I don't think, on American uh, TV uh, because of streaming services, which is a shame, I guess. Uh, Anchorman 1 and 2 box set, Kick-Ass uh, 1 and 2, Scott Pilgrim vs. The World, badass film. Um, seasons 1, 2, 3 and 4, I might add, uh, but it did come from Germany, so I am a bit worried that it's in German. But yeah, these four um, Blu-rays of Rick and Morty, which uh, again, I think all four seasons are now on, on Netflix. Um, X-Men The Ultimate Collection, well, Ultimate Collection, um, not really because it's actually not got all the films now, but it's got X-Men, X-Men 2, uh, Last Stand, oh, oh, yeah, yeah. X-Men Origins, Wolverine, let's just not talk about that one, uh, and X-Men First Class, which is a banger of a film, I love that film. Uh, Deadpool, Deadpool 2, um, hopefully there's a third one, um, Batman Begins, The Dark Knight, and The Dark Knight Rises, and then the Indiana Jones sort of box set thing that I got from eBay once randomly, um, and that, uh, Iron Man, Iron Man 2 I still don't have, which is kind of weird, Iron Man 3, um, Avengers Assemble, Avengers Age of Ultron, Avengers Infinity War, uh, Guardians of the Galaxy, Guardians of the Galaxy 2, um, Spider-Man Homecoming, and then the best of the best is right at the top, which is Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse, uh, best Marvel movie, get fucked, if you disagree, um, but, uh, what was I gonna say, yeah, I'm, I'm a bit confused, because I don't have, don't, I, I don't have Civil War, which kind of makes sense, because I don't remember really liking that film that much, um, but then also, I don't have, uh, Endgame, weirdly enough, uh, I thought I would have had that by now. Uh, but yeah, as I say, these are all the uh, DVDs and, and, and some Blu-rays that I have in my uh, collection, as it were. Um, if there's, as I say, anything in particular that stands out to you, that you're like, oh, I love that film, or oh, I, I really like that series, um, that comedy series, or that animated series, or, 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 or that particular Star Wars film, and I really want to know what... Uh, the doctor's assistant one thinks about that uh please do comment below uh i'd be open to suggestions at some point uh doing them uh again it gives me a bit of an excuse to talk about something other than doctor who uh on the channel uh so yeah thanks for watching please do comment rate and subscribe